this is a tutorial on the facial skeleton. Uh, it's the second tutorial on the skull. So hopefully you've watched um, the first tutorial which was on the bones of the upper skull. So the bones which house the brain um, and which are referred to as the calvaria. So all these these bones here. So this tutorial is on the rest of the skull, the lower and anterior part which is called the facial skeleton or the viscerocranium. Um, so if you just remember from the last tutorial, the, bone, the skull consists of an up, the upper part and the lower part um, and the mandible actually isn't considered part of the cranium. So I'll do a separate tutorial on the, a very, very short tutorial on the uh, mandible but this is just focusing on the facial skeleton. So there are several bones which make up the facial skeleton. You've got the nasal bones, the maxilla, the zygomatic bone, the lacrimal bone on either side. Then you've got the voma, the palatine bone, and the inferior nasal concha. So I'm going to just talk you through those bones and hopefully you'll um, have a good understanding of those by the time I finish with this tutorial. Um, so that just like loads of things in anatomy there is a mnemonic for remembering these bones um, and that's Virgil cannot make my pet zebra laugh. So that so that's Voma, Conchi, Nasal Bone, Maxilla, Mandible which isn't technically part of the facial skeleton but anyway it's included in this mnemonic, palatine, zygomatic, and lacrimal. So I'll just show, walk, talk you through those. So you've got these nasal bones up here, um, which articulate with the frontal bone and with the maxilla on either side. And where they meet the frontal bone um, and where they join together, this point here is known as nasion, which I've talked about in my tutorial on sutures. So those are the nasal bones. Um, and here you've got this bone here is the maxilla and this as you can see makes up the um, medial part of the orbit. You can see here. And it's got a few processes. So this process here so process is just something that basically just sticks out. So this process is called the frontal process because it articulates with the frontal bone. And then you've got this process here, which is the zygomatic process of the maxilla because it articulates with the zygomatic bone laterally. And then this here is called the alveolar process because it articulates with the teeth. So you've got the alveolar process, the zygomatic process, and the frontal process. And then you can probably see this little hole here. You've got quite a lot of these tiny little holes, these openings on the skull, and they are um, foramen. Any little hole, a natural opening in the body which allows structures to pass through is known as a foramen. And the plural of foramen is foramina. So you've got a lot of these in the skull and I think I'll do a separate tutorial on them because you've got so many and they're quite important to know about and in particular know what structures pass through them. So this one here is the infraorbital foramen and you've also got the supraorbital foramen which is part of the t uh, frontal bone. You can't quite, you could just about make it out. It's, it's more of a notch, I think it's also called the supraorbital notch. So you've got, and they just allow the infraorbital and supraorbital vessels to pass through and nerves to pass through. So that's the maxilla bone. Next, just moving around laterally, you've got the zygomatic bone. And the, this bone is the bone which is referred to as the cheekbone. So you can feel it on yourself. It's the bone um, here which articulates with the temporal bone here the frontal bone and the maxilla. So again you can see the lower lateral orbit um, is made up of the zygomatic bone. 
and again you've got a little frame in here and I'll talk about these in a, another tutorial so this this big hole here is called the piriform aperture and that's obviously where the the nose sits so if I just show you the, the nasal cartilage that's where the nose sits and opens up into all the passageways of the nose um, but it's quite important to just look at some of the structures through this piriform aperture um, so you can see the this structure here I don't think I talked about it in my last tutorial but this is the perpendicular plate of the ethmoid bone so you can see it, it it's called a perpendicular plate because it drops perpendicularly down from the ethmoid bone and then these structures that you can see from this anterior view on either side are the concha or conchi in plural um, so these are bony structures that make up the passageway passageways of the nose um, so the this is the middle concha you can't see the superior concha from this view but the middle nasal concha make up a part of the um, cranium not part of the um, uh, sorry, not a uh, part of the upper cranium, so the part of the calvaria, not the facial skeleton. This structure here is the inferior nasal concha. So if we just zoom in, you can see that this um, long bone that extends posteriorly is this is the inferior nasal concha, and it's part of the maxilla bone. So look, you can see, you can see this is the maxilla bone. And the inferior nasal concha is part of that. So this is another, the inferior nasal concha is another bone of the viscerocranium. Um, so it's, it's like a sort of little shelf that um, allows the passage of air into the nasal cavity and down into the pharynx and ultimately into the trachea and lungs. So this, you can see this little concave um, indentation. That's where the passageways for for air run, um, and the passageway um, is known as the meatus, and that extends into the posterior nasal cavity. Um, there's quite a lot to talk about with the conchi and the meatus and all the structure of the nose but I think I'll, just, I'll do that as a separate tutorial on the actual nose so th what you want to know here is that the inferior nasal concha um, is part of the maxilla and is a bone of the facial skeleton um, and just that the per this is the perpendicular plate of the ethmoid bone and these structures are the middle nasal concha and you've got superior nasal concha which you can't see here and they're part of the um, upper cranium إن أعجبك الفيديو لا تنسى الاشتراك بالقناة والإعجاب والتعليق على الفيديو وأيضا لا تنسى المشاركة جميع الحقوق محفوظة لقناة Arab Doctors Tube